you guys can see this license plate in front of me or not, but it says, I'd rather be ice fishing. Man, I love that. It is awesome. So our army is closed for a while. They're doing some remodeling. And they've been closed for a couple weeks. And they're reopening on the 9th of this month. Kind of excited. I'd like me a little. Oh my god, look at that thing. I hope you guys saw that. That is amazing. That's an old fire truck or something. Maybe an old ladder truck. That's awesome. Well, my last few moto vlogs, I haven't really talked that much. Just kind of given some updates. Well, today I actually have some stuff to talk about. And the first one is a story, and it's a story about my pregnant wife when she was pregnant. As a matter of fact, there's two stories about my formerly pregnant wife. But we're going to start the first one off with something a little silly. And of course the second one's silly too. But the first one, she has this cat that she just adores. And I love him too. He's a black and white, just domestic short hair cat. And his name is Buddy. And I think I've posted pictures of him before, maybe in a former video. But I'll definitely post a picture right about here. Yeah, somewhere around there. So, this cat, Buddy, is pretty, pretty well spoiled. He's had more medical bills than I've ever had, but he's probably the healthiest cat on the planet at this point. Anywho, so when she was pregnant, uh, she has this cat sleep by her all the time, every day, or I mean every night. It sleeps like right up next to her face. Well, one morning, while she was pregnant and sleeping, and I got up kind of in like the middle of the night and I uh, went to go pee or drink water or something, I don't know, hydrate, you know, army stuff. And I pet the cat, and as I pet the cat, I noticed that his back was wet. And I was like, what the hell did he get into? I mean, it's the middle of the night, he's been sleeping here the whole time. And I look over and realize that my wife had slobbered on the cat. Yes. She was in the most deep, tranquil sweep probably ever in her pregnant life. And she slobbered on her cat. And that's the first story, and that's all it is. But I just, I thought you guys would be interested in that. She slobbered on her cat. And he didn't even care, he just stayed there and laid, slept, did cat-like things. So yeah, good times. No, it's not open. Oh, we're gonna have to go find out. Oh yeah, we're gonna go check on B-dubs. Or for those of you that don't know, Buffalo Wild Wings, B W W B dubs, dubs being plural. Oh my God, they're open! No way. Training in progress. Oh, I see. Yeah, not quite open yet, but they will be. We'll be eating there soon, don't you know? <laughs> Alright, pregnant wife story number two. And she attributes this to pregnancy brain, which is a real thing, no matter what anybody tells you. So, another late night story, middle of the night, well, was it the middle of the night? I think we were just getting ready for bed. No, we did go to bed. Yeah, that's right. So we went to bed, and neither of us had to be up in the morning, which was kind of nice. And uh, as all of you know, my son was born in February, so she was pregnant for most of the winter. And uh, anyway, our cat buddy, like I just talked about, loves to go outside. And we have a fenced-in backyard so he can roam around, and he's helped us find all of the holes so he can no longer escape, at least for now, until the new hole opens up. And I think they're constructing the hole right now, actually. It should be. 
finish by next month, I'm thinking. Anyway, so he's uh, outside, and neither of us can remember if we let the cat in. And it's cold. It's like less than 10 degrees outside Fahrenheit. So neither of us can remember if we uh, let the cat in. It's getting late. It's getting colder. 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 If she gets all panicked and worried, and I'm fairly relaxed. I mean, yeah, it'd be bad if the cat died, but it wouldn't be the worst thing that ever happened. Don't ever tell her I said that. Ah. Uh, Dang, red light, to tell you what. So she gets on some clothes to go find the cat, and I do the same. I pull out a flashlight, we're looking, it's dark out, it's cold, and... Man, we're looking for probably a good 20 minutes in this cold weather, just walking around. Man, and I give up, and I start coming in, and she comes back to the house, and she starts getting in her vehicle and getting ready to go drive around and find him. But when I come in the house, there that little turd is, sitting on the couch arm. Just staring at me like, <laughs> oh, you guys are stupid. You guys thought I was outside, and here I was, inside the whole time. <laughs> oh, man, that cat, I tell you what. Well, anyway, it turns out she actually did let him in, and after we found him, she remembered, hey, I let my cat in. But... Like I said, she attributes that to pregnancy brain, and uh, that's that. That's uh, pregnant wife story number two. So the third thing I kind of want to bring up is something that I uh, well, kind of used to do. I don't quite do it so much anymore, but uh, I used to volunteer a lot in the community doing uh, like emergency disaster relief or, oh, well, that's pretty much it, you know, uh, directing traffic for the police when there was a big flood that came in, like, I think it was like 2012 or 2013, we had a huge flood. I helped direct traffic for that. I was part of a group called Community Emergency Response Team, or CERT, and they're pretty much non-existent around here. And I was also a member of Civil Air Patrol for a very long time. I put 10 years into that group. And I won't go into why I'm not doing that anymore. But they did about the same thing. Uh, Civil Air Patrol was more of a youth program. So, anyway, so my question is, what do you do for your community? Right now, I'm trying to find a couple more volunteer organizations that I can uh, put my work to, that I'm able to volunteer on a regular basis and help out. Right now I'm a board member of the uh, 4th of July Fest here and we call it the Big Bang Boom or Boom Fest. And I haven't really been able to do much with it yet because my work schedule is crap. But I am a board member and I'm proud of that. And I'm trying to get more involved in my church that I go to. Um, I love the church and I want to be a part of the volunteer group, but they have kind of some stricter guidelines that at the time I'm not able to follow. So I'm working around that. I don't know if I mentioned before, but I put in for an internal job at the company that I work at right now. And if I get that job, which I'll probably find out either this week or next, then my hours will change dramatically. I'll be doing more videos. I'll be volunteering. I'll be a better member of my church. All kinds of good things would come out of that new schedule. And best of all, I'd be able to spend more time with my family. So that's the, uh, that's the biggest thing that I'm going for with this new job. It pays the same. It's at the same location. It's not an office job, although you sit in an office quite a bit. Uh, but I'm really, really hoping for it. And I know you guys will give me some positive vibes. You always do. That's why I love this community of motive vloggers and non-motive vloggers who watch my videos. I hope you enjoyed my stories. 
and I look forward to talking with all y'all later. So just remember to never hold in a fart and never live a day without serving someone else.